Hi, my name is Joshua Pex. I'm a lawyer at the law offices of Cohen Decker Pex Brosh. We have a law office in Petach Tikva, which is near Tel Aviv. We have an office in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. And one of our main areas of practice is immigration to Israel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the reasons why more and more foreign nationals in the last year are being denied entry to Israel. So during the last years of uh, 2015, 16, and 17, every year we see tens of thousands of people that are denied entry to Israel. Most of the denials of entry happen at the Ben Gurion airport, which is the main airport to Israel. So a foreign citizen lands at the airport but is refused entry. And this is for various reasons. One of the reasons is, of course, all kinds of issues of security, but the main reason is fear of illegal work or illegal immigration to Israel. During the last years, Israel has opened the way for citizens of different countries that they no longer need to get a visa to Israel in advance, but this means that at the same time, these nationals, mainly from uh, countries of former Soviet Union, Eastern Europe, they land at the airport and they're denied entry. But also in other cases, if this foreign national has a relative from the first degree, like a husband or wife or brother and sister that are already working in Israel as foreign workers, this person needs to get authorization, needs to get a visa in advance to come visit Israel. It's also important to know that all kinds of activists of causes that are called the BDS or against Israel or pro-Palestinian, they're also might be denied entry to Israel. Even people that are suspected of missionary activity in Israel may be denied entry. All these reasons for denial of entry have been published just recently in July of 2017. This is a new procedure that we see really what are the reasons of denial of entry to Israel. So if you've been denied entry or afraid that your entrance will be denied to Israel, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll see if we can give you legal advice and help. Thank you for listening.